Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It's a decently quiet Sunday evening. We don't have a lot going on. Of course, we've got a lot of breeze across the area, but fortunately, that's about all that we had to deal with throughout the rest of the holiday, as we see again some areas of severe weather with our latest storm system passing on through back to the north and east of us. But beyond that, really technically very little actually taking place where it came to winter weather or anything stormy across the area in the last couple of days. A lot of people in motion tonight, so we're going to be focusing on travel and seeing what's going on out there for tonight. It's a the busiest travel day of the year. So if you're out there maybe watching this on your portable device out there, phone, tablet, whatever, stuck in an airport and want to know what's going on, we'll have an update for you at least past about 8 o'clock this evening. Anything updated on that, we'll give you some websites to go to. And of course, we'll update you on what you can look forward to in the next several days. Kids back to school tomorrow and the teachers Sorry about that, but it's coming up soon. But again, you're going to have to make certain that you bundle up tomorrow morning. And of course, some changes in the forecast taking place. The 7 to 10 day forecast has a lot of different stuff going on way down the pike. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Wherever you happen to be checking in from, drop your location, weather reports if you got them, into the comments section, and let's see what's going on at your location tonight. And we'll read off some of those. If you can't stick around for the whole thing, that's fine. Forecast here at the bottom of your screen in the blue bar scrolling on by. And of course, you can get more details at wreg.com slash weather. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in for tonight. Do appreciate everybody watching for this evening. We'll take a look at travel across the Mid-South and again that chilly start for school tomorrow morning. And could there be some more winter weather on the horizon? We'll stick around for that. We'll have that coming up here in just a little bit. Overnight tonight, Temperatures already falling into the lower 40s, so just past 10 o'clock this evening, we'll be looking for those temperatures continuing to slide into the lower 30s. Skies should be clearing the Mid-South as we go into tomorrow morning, but we'll call it partly cloudy skies as we get into dawn patrol early on Monday morning. So please keep it tuned. Again, we'll have updates with Todd Demers tomorrow morning on daybreak. Pretty close to normal today for the first day of December. 58 degrees are high. 56 is where we should be, and decently close for the low temperature. No rainfall today. We're going to finish up a very wet 2019 with nearly 70 inches of rain in the gauge for the year and still a month to go. That puts us 21 inches ahead of normal for this year. That's incredible amounts of rainfall out there. So we'll see how well that holds up in the course of the next couple of days. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in uh, for tonight. Cordova 43, Phyllis Walton, what's the wind chill? Uh, we'll take a look at that coming up here in just a little bit. So stay tuned for more there. Thanks for the weather reports. Uh, glad to see everybody sticking around for this evening and taking a look at what's going on. Jackie John Johnson Cold in Grand Forks AFB. Thank you very much. Uh, checking on for the area there and everybody else from the Mid-South. Traffic this evening, again, pretty heavy. We're watching a lot of people in motion. The travel usually at this time of the evening on a Sunday night is starting to kind of drop down and wane a little bit. Throughout the last few hours, it has been very steady and very heavy. So even on the east side of the 240 Super Collider, we're looking at some pretty heavy amounts of traffic for tonight. TDOT, MDOT in Mississippi and Arkansas Highway and Transportation all showing some pretty heavy uh, traveling conditions out there volume-wise. Weather is not really a problem at this time. As you can see, pretty dry conditions out there. Now, for travel by air tonight, again, good news. Looking back toward Memphis International from 240 and Airways, live camera here, not showing any visibility problems, no rain, no snow, no severe weather, anything like that. And very good news for anybody heading into Memphis or out of Memphis pretty soon. Green airplane icon shows delays of 15 minutes or less. So looking good for area travel here in the Mid-South area. But hang on for just a second. The board lit up tonight with all kinds of delays all over the place. Volume, uh, gate travel, again, blocked in some locations or at least slowed down due to volume. Weather conditions out there in some parts of the country uh, showing up a lot of delays for tonight. So if you're still traveling, as a lot of people are still in motion, uh, again, it's going to be a slow go through some of these airports, some major and connecting airports, uh, Dallas, Chicago, San Francisco, Newark, uh, into and around the area of anything around the eastern seaboard. That's the heaviest potential uh, for problems out there. So a lot of problems for travelers for tonight with just general holiday travel on this. 
the busiest travel day of the year. So your patience will be necessary if you're catching a red eye tonight. Again, hopefully everything kind of smoothing out a little bit into the next few hours as more people get to where they're going. But unfortunately for right now, still could be some problems in the next couple of hours. So please pack your patience, call ahead to check and see what's going on. And Definitely want to be flexible and as patient as possible. More information about this, go to the FAA's website, the Air Traffic Control System Command Center at fly.faa.gov. Or, again, you get more information at our website, wreg.com slash weather for more details. We'll up this coming up on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. Storm system that was off the West Coast a couple of days ago. Powerful system making its way through the eastern third of the country right now. Lots of problems with, again, travel out there, including numerous advisories and warnings taking place uh, into and around portions of the area from around parts of the area back to the east of us. And again, that does include, uh, did include some ice storm warnings out there, mainly winter weather advisories from areas around the Tennessee Plateau area from east of Nashville, Johnson City, back up to the north of Knoxville, and all the way into the New England area for tonight. There were some ice storm warnings in effect for Pennsylvania. That looks to have dropped at this time, but plenty of other problems out there. So anything east of Knoxville, north of Chesapeake Bay, Baltimore, D.C., that's where you're going to be seeing a lot of the problems into and around the area uh, for tonight. Looking again at the possibility of some more scattered showers for us later in the forecast, but not that much going on, at least for tonight. So that's good news for travelers out there. Brent Hamilton, cold and breezy in Horn Lake, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for that. Christine Lundahl, cold in Blytheville, Arkansas. Uh, thank you very much for that one. Brittany Turner, golf ball-sized hail. Lightning and thunder in Batesville, Mississippi. A lot of reports of hail around that area. Thank you very much for that one. Barbara McLean, cold in Whitehaven. Bundle up. Very good idea. Thank you very much for that one. And also, again, thanks to everybody else for tuning in for tonight. Little, if anything, left over at this time where it comes to Storm Tracker 3S radar. It's quiet for right now. We do have a few snow showers taking place just north of Nashville, but it's doubtful we're going to be getting any accumulation out of this as it moves its way into Middle Tennessee. Very dry at the surface, so a lot of this moisture several thousand feet up is just evaporating as it heads down to the ground. So you might catch a few flurries if you're heading toward Nashville later on this evening or up to, say, east of Paducah if you're going in that direction for right now. Temperature Again, back in the mid to upper 30s to lower 40s, but take a look at some of those winds out there, breezy around the backside of that storm system, 23 miles per hour at Arkansas State in Jonesboro, and 10 to 20 miles per hour across a good portion of the rest of the Mid-South. That's taking your wind chills easily down briefly into the teens this evening, so that's something you want to make certain you plan ahead for before you head on out the picture for later on tonight. Again, very cold conditions for now and not as breezy tomorrow morning, but at the bus stop for the kids, they're going to need to be bundled up against the chill. We'll tell you more about that in the school day forecast coming up in just a little bit. All right, running the numbers into overnight. Clouds will be coming and going across the area, so we'll call it partly cloudy skies just to sum it up for the entire area. Just past News Channel 3 at 10, back in the mid to upper 30s. By daybreak tomorrow morning, again, some of those light snow showers back to the east of the Tennessee River. Not much of anything expected for us. Maybe a snow flurry up around Dyersburg into and around Ripley, Tennessee, but that's going to be about all. And these are going to be the numbers by the time the kids hit the school bus stop in the morning. So we're looking at some pretty cool conditions and decently breezy. So wind chills in the teens and 20s tomorrow morning. That's going to be problematic, so make certain everybody's bundled up out there. Rest of the day, the clouds again lifting away from the area, but slowly as that whole mess of a storm system makes its way on out of the picture. And as it does, dry air continues to make its way around the back side of this system. So we'll look for temperatures not that warm tomorrow, only back in the lower 40s for highs across the entire Mid-South. And that goes for everybody from Oxford to Dyersburg and from Jackson, Tennessee to Forest City, Arkansas, with Memphis right there in the middle. So prepare for a chilly day coming up. Now, again, over the next several days, the seven-day forecast starts to moderate a little bit, but we still have a chilly start to the week out there and looks pretty dry into tomorrow night as well. All right, running the numbers into tomorrow. 
Again, chances of rainfall out there just not really being seen back in the lower 40s for highs on Monday. Looking at the possibility of, again, some very light conditions of cloud cover by Tuesday and temperatures closer to normal back in the lower 50s. Now, getting toward Wednesday, we're basically at normal. Plenty of sunshine out there. Next best chance of rainfall will be heading our direction as we get into and around the area of the end of the week. So from Thursday late in the evening, past about Friday, that's where we see the chances of showers out there and will stay very mild. So not seeing anything in the way of precipitation problems with snow, at least yet. Just hang on to that thought for a second. Getting into next weekend, temperatures remain mild. Some scattered showers as we go towards Sunday. Now by next Monday, very mild back in the mid-60s. But what looks to be the peak before the fall is coming up with numbers back in the mid-60s on Monday. Another large and powerful storm system in the offing for the Mid-South. So looking at very cold conditions by next Tuesday. And the possibility of some of that cold air as it moves on through, as that system moves out, Colder air wrapping around the backside of that system could give us the potential of some wintry type precipitation as the system clears the area. Way too early at this time to start talking about amounts or closing school or anything like that. So don't ask. We're not going to answer that right now because, again, it's just too far off. And if you've never done winter weather forecasting of any type before, I urge you to give it a try. It's a very humbling experience. So do give it a shot and let me know how it works out for you this far out. So we'll keep you updated. Keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll give you an idea as to what we may be looking at into the course of the next several days. Welcome to everybody checking in from across the Mid-South and points beyond. Again, so far the good news, chilly tomorrow, but warming up and staying pretty mild. Not bad, you got to admit, for the early part of December. And then the next best chance of rainfall Thursday, Friday, a bit of a break by Saturday, and maybe maybe the possibility of some winter weather coming up as we go toward the early part of the second week of December. No severe weather at this time, so that's good news. And also, winter weather, if we have any sign of it, it's going to be several days off. So again, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 again for more on that. Into the school day tomorrow. Sorry, kids and teachers. Back to the books. Numbers back into the lower 30s across much of the area tomorrow. And again, it will be decently breezy. Winds out of the northwest at about 10 miles an hour. So expect wind chills tomorrow in the 20s across the Mid-South area. And numbers back in the lower 40s for highs. That's it, and that's all for the warm temperatures into the rest of the day tomorrow. So pretty much on the chilly side out there for right now. And across much of the Mid-South, everywhere across the area back in the lower 30s for low temperatures no matter where you happen to be out there for right now good news again this is december the first and the official end of hurricane season happened yesterday but the national hurricane center continues to monitor for anything developing out there we can get post season storms as been very well demonstrated in the last several years on that in portions of the central and even the southern parts of the Atlantic. Nothing going on right now. How did this season stack up? Well, we'll be waiting for updates from the National Hurricane Center. Their summary should be coming up here in the next several days. Once we get that, we'll let you know about that so we can see how things went. We made it up to the S storm. Sebastian happened about a week and a half ago and did not make our way all the way through the alphabet like we did in 2005. So a little quieter. We'll see how it's stacked up against other years, so keep it tuned again. We'll keep you updated on all that coming up a little bit later on. If you're thinking about astronomy, maybe suggesting it for a younger member of your family, and you'd like to know more about what to purchase for a telescope or for just stargazing equipment in general, Memphis Astronomical Society at their free monthly meeting for December coming up this next Friday at Christian Brothers University will be holding their annual What Telescope Should I Buy meeting and a good opportunity to ask questions as the experts like Mr. Rick Honey, who will be doing the presentation, will let you know more about price, about how easy it is to operate the scopes, durability, how much, again, you're going to need for different levels of expertise. All that, a good opportunity to find out more. And you can learn more at memphisastro.org, also on Facebook, also on Twitter. If you'd like to know more about this, again, good opportunity. Again, this will be this next Friday. And their January meeting, also free at Christian Brothers, coming up the first week of January, will be how to set up and use 
your new telescope. So if you'd like to know more about this, introducing your kids to a really cool science of astronomy, this is a good opportunity for you to take a look at what's going on out there. So please join the Memphis Astronomical Society at Christian Brothers in Central Memphis this coming Friday for more information about what you can do to find out more about astronomy and how you're able to take advantage of that using the best equipment but not breaking the pocketbook. So good news on that. For tomorrow morning, again, could be a little breezy out there, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies and decently chilly in the metro area and throughout the rest of the Mid-South area. So again, we could be seeing the possibility of some pretty chilly conditions out there. Lanier L. Hurdle, will we all die in 12 years because of global warming? The years, again, right now are kind of irrelevant at this point in time. The point is if we don't start doing something to tackle global warming and, as it should be called, climate change, human-caused climate change, then we are going to be in trouble on this planet because this is our only home in space. So 12 years, that's debatable. Doing nothing, that's the killer. And that's why we all need to pitch in, especially making certain we contact our elected leaders to make certain that they know how we feel about stuff like this. So that is the important thing. So again, timing that out, again, it could be two years, it could be 200 years. The important thing is we need to make changes and that's exactly what all of us need to be doing. So good question. Thank you for asking, Mr. Hurdle. Good uh, opportunity to learn more about how to protect your planet out there. Numbers again, and when it comes to forecasting, you may not be able to watch on TV. Join us online at wreg.com slash weather for more information about what's going on out there. Coming up on my Facebook page at about 8.50 this evening. Again, it's about 20 after the hour right now. In about a half an hour, join me for an updated forecast. And we'll take a look at whether where the troops are. If you have friends, loved ones, anybody out there in the way of family who is serving overseas, not everybody can make it their way home from the holidays because they're on duty, serving our country, wearing the uniform of our country. So we'll give you an update as to what's going on overseas in numerous locations. And that'll be coming up close to 9 o'clock for this evening. We'll be on a little late tonight. Thanks to the NFL, we'll be starting just past about 10.30 for News Channel 3 at 10, that'll be the late edition. And don't forget about Todd Demers. He'll have your complete forecast coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. That starts at 4.30 Monday morning for an update for the kids, the teachers heading to school, and everybody else heading out the door for work as we get back to it between Thanksgiving and the rest of the holidays out there. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you want to see on here for suggestions, let me know. Austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to hear from you. So again, give us a shout, and we'll see what we can do for you about making this your weather opportunity to tune in and see what's going on in the Mid-South and beyond. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll have updates again on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. That'll be about 10.30 tonight, so stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks for joining us tonight.